when they didn't know what they were going to do. God had a work that was established. And the work that went into this place was not in vain. What you do for Jesus Christ matters. Every last bit of it matters. There is nothing insignificant. This place is still here. It's still a place of hope. It's still a place of healing. It's still a place of rest for the weary. It's still a soul-saving station. And it's been the gate of salvation for many, hasn't it? Well, I sat in here with knuckles white from conviction, gripping the back of the pew. Some of you did too. Thank you. The gift that keeps on giving. I know this ain't deep today. I know this is not super revelatory today. I love them kind of messages. Pastor, when we'd sit and have coffee, talk about all this stuff, and I finally got your mind changed about the end times. A little bit of an inside joke. We were poolites. We believed in the pre-tribulation rapture, you know. I said, well, Pastor, I think it might be a little different. We were sitting on the back row there talking about it. said, oh, I believe we're going out of here before. No, it's not real revelatory today. God's always going to have somebody to do his work. And God has always worked with a remnant. And God has always worked with little. God's always worked with a handful. He can even work with nothing. I told somebody one time, you may not have anything. Give it to God. Give your nothing to God. He will take it. Maybe nobody else will. He will. And he'll do something with it. He'll multiply it. Chloe, you're going to do great things for God. You're going to do great things for God. Frank and Beth, you're going to do great things for God. Brother, you're going to do great things for God. Yes. Oh, yes. Alvin, your children are going to be saved. I watched your mama and your daddy pray for you. I was in some of them prayer meetings in their little apartment down there at the Williams establishment when they lived there. We'd pray till the couch would get shaken for Alvin to come home. Don't stop remembering, Alvin, that Sunday night when God got a hold of you standing in the middle aisle after service had been dismissed. The Holy Ghost got all over you. Brother Dean Short laid a hand on you and you started to weep and travail and we took you and ducked you down in that water in Jesus' name. God refilled you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Sister Cindy, you saw it happen. Wasn't long after you got the Holy Ghost. Your children will be saved if you stay the course. Stay in this thing. Don't give up. Don't stop working for God. Brother Matt, you preach this thing like your hind end is on fire. And don't you ever stop. Preach the word, Sister Kim. Preach the word, Sister Lisa. Pastor, preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Don't let go of this gospel. There's going to be people in all kinds of walks of life that need you. They need you. It won't be easy. The Bible says we're pulling them out of the fire. The Bible also says that our time is short. But if you got the Holy Ghost, you got everything you need. The gift that keeps on giving. Brother Mike... We were all heartbroken to lose Sister Cookie. If y'all haven't had a chance, stop at the back of the church in the old glass cabinet from the old Burns Church and look at her prayer list. It's displayed in there. 
She literally covered everything in prayer. Everything and everybody, didn't she, Brother Mike? Our prayers don't die. You know why this church is going to go on? Because prayers don't die. Prayers don't die. The prayers of the saints that have gone on to be with the Lord, they need to be mixed with your prayers. Some agreement between those prayers needs to happen and then watch God move. This church is going to go on in the power of the Holy Ghost, the demonstration and power of God. People have had prophetic dreams of the doors wide open and there being hardly any room to receive the throngs of people coming in. That day is coming. Will you be ready? I ain't going to preach much longer, church. I don't have much of a voice today. And you've heard me many, many times. And you'll hear me again. It's real simple. Here's what the good book says. We're sinners in need of a Savior. And nobody's sin is any different than anybody else's. And that God who loves you robed himself in flesh. And he came and he gave his life on Calvary's cross. The doors of salvation are open to all who would repent and believe the gospel. And he'll give you power through the gift of his spirit living on the inside of you. Somebody asked Jesus, what's the greatest commandment? And he said, well, the first one is here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. He said the second one is, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength, all you have, even if it's just a little. And he said, the second is like unto it. Love your neighbor as yourself. And he said, on these two commandments hinge all the law and the prophets. The entire word of God that they had in written form at that time hinged on those two things. Love God, love people. Get it right. Get it right. Love God. Love people. Love him with all you got. Even if it feels like just a little. He gave you a gift. A gift that will keep on giving. Amen. Oh, I love him today. Do you love the Lord today? Are you thankful today? Filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name, the only saving name for the remission of sins. God's beautiful, holy people. Thank God for the blood. Would you stand this morning? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I don't give lengthy altar calls. I believe that if the Spirit of the Lord has moved upon you, then you can respond to the moving of the Spirit. This altar is open for you today. If you need prayer, if you've yet to ever repent of your sins and receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, you need to do that today. If you've never been buried in His name for the remission of your sins, you need to be. If you've never received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you need the Holy Ghost. The Bible says without the Spirit of Christ, we're none of His. We need the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I pray today that you will take whatever he's given you, give it back to him. He can do more with it than what we can on our own. Amen. my 
myself away. 